Where am I here? All right, I think I'm over here somewhere. All right, so um, I reached out to these guys, these guys here, and we're doing a whole bunch of adapter videos and stuff coming out, um, possibly in a row, they may be, I'm not too sure. Um, and we've talked about some different adapters that you can use on, let's say, the Canon EOS R, uh, the Canon EOS, well, the I have the R7 and R6, things like that. And uh, I think for those of us that are especially shooting video, uh, and we like to switch lenses a lot, I'm going to be bringing a whole bunch of lenses with us. Uh, you know, not all of our lenses are, number one, going to have the same uh, filter diameter, right? So you end up having to buy a whole bunch of either different filters, or you have to buy, buy in different setup rings, and... When you're moving lenses, you have to take one off and move it onto this. And, and it's just, it can be a little bit of a hassle. And because of that hassle, I know for me, I, I just, a lot of times I don't shoot with them. But uh, here we go. This is the uh, Miki, maybe, maybe I'm saying that right, Mikey. Uh, Drop-in filter mount adapter right here. This is the ND3 to ND500, right? Supports autofocus. And I reached out to these guys to see if they could let me uh, try one out because uh, for those that have seen my previous video on some of the other adapters uh, we are currently when you're seeing this um, either in Costa Rica or are back from Costa Rica I'm shooting this just before we leave and uh, I wanted this primarily for video because I know that it's going to be really sunny out there for the majority of the time and for video I wanted to be able to of course uh, shoot uh, and keep that 150th right but I'm bringing a, a few lenses with me and I wanted to be able to switch lenses without having to uh, change and take off the ND filter etc etc so we're gonna take a look at this right now um, just to show you what this is like and then what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go shoot and when I get back we'll tell you what we think of it Okay, so anyways, this is this is the box. This is the box right here. Seems 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 handy, uh, and this is going to go again from I believe this is a RF to EF adapter. Okay, so that's the adapter right there. This is uh, the drop in. This is a drop in. This is I believe a drop in ND filter. This one I got, and of course they do have a little uh, looks like a little manual maybe. Uh, yeah, so this is the MKEFTR-C. I'm guessing the dash C is probably for, for Canon. Is it just the same thing in different languages? Yeah, looks that way. Uh, Manual-wise, what does it say here? Uh, standard, buy separately, okay, buy separately, buy separately, depending on which one you have. All right, drops in like so. Cool. And then we're, then we're good to go. Love it. All right, so move the box over there. This is, this is the adapter. Now, number one, which makes it kind of cool, it's got the nice little, they put the, they put the little red ring on it, so it looks very canon-y, right? So let's say, let's say for instance, I have this, this, this lens here, and this is a 16 to 35 EF, right? And we take that, and that's going to go onto the, sorry, that's going to go on the camera body, right? This is, of course, going to go lens, so we should have a red, red marker somewhere possibly, maybe, maybe, yeah, right there. Red marker, red marker. Okay, that snaps on nice, actually. That's good. Red ring looks super nice on there with the Canon red ring. All right. Okay. You can see all the stuff for the autofocus right there. So your autofocus will work or should work. I'm hoping it'll work. I'll, I'll tell you in the, by the end of this video. And cap goes back on. And then what happens is you can buy different drop-in filters. So this is a drop-in uh, variable ND right here. Okay, drop-in variable ND. And this, the nice thing is, is this actually goes in between the camera and the lens. So this, oh, it does have the variable ND in there. And then this is the clear one. Oh, I see what's going on. So you just take this. And you pop this out there's the variable nd i'll just put that down there and then this when you don't want it make sure you put it the right way there we go goes in there snaps into place yes right and that's how it comes and this says on it clear 
You guys may be able to hopefully see that, right? It just says clear. And this, this so you guys can see, is the variable ND. So there's a little dial right here. And yes, yes, sir. You can see, I'll try to put maybe something white underneath it. So there's something white. Yes, you can see it brighten, dark, brighten, dark. Excellent. Oh, that's great. So basically, I take this one out. All you do is you take the little, there's a little like little trigger here, and you just click, pull, make sure trigger side, click, in, and now you and I have a variable ND filter on there sitting in the back. Okay, that's cool. I'm down. All right, now uh, because they do have a little spare holder, I'm just going to put that in there, right? And uh, we'll be we'll be right back for you in like two seconds. But I'm going to go use this for the next week and change, and uh, we'll let you know we'll let you know how it uh, how it turns out. Okay, so we are back. We are back. You may have seen the video I put out the other day on the uh one of the other adapters that you can get but for those of you that are shooting like in a lot of light maybe you want to do some like time lapse photography maybe you just for, like for me uh, you're using this a lot for video so you want to make sure that you can lock your shutter speed but still get a nice shallow depth of field so you need an nd filter on it um this right here not not bad okay so so uh this this is this is it and i pr pronouncing it right wrong M makey meeky i don't know um this is pretty much the uh setup that i was using while i was on holidays uh shooting both a wedding and shooting uh just for myself because it's costa rica and it's beautiful i was shooting a lot of video with this shooting uh a lot of photography now the one thing i like is this this is a this is an nd filter that you know it comes almost it's it's fairly close to clear when it's at its lightest and it is ridiculously dark when it's at its darkest which is great because i would say outside of shooting a f like inside uh like inside uh, the hotel room or inside where the bride and groom were getting ready and things like that um, those were the only times that I actually took the ND filter out. And again, you can just kind of, you know, click on this and it slides out nice and easy, right? And then you just pop it in and you can put the clear one in. It has a clear one. I have it. It's upstairs. Um, comes with that, at least the version I got. Um, but when I was outside, even just shooting photos, it was so bright out. I wouldn't even bother changing it because I would just make sure. And, and this is the nice thing I like is. All you have to do is when you're on this, you just, you can slide it and it has, cause it has stops, right? This is all the way down. This is all the way up, right? All the way down, all the way up. And it has stops. So you kind of know where you are. Now, I'm not sure <laughs> which, which I like better or which I would like better. This, this little jog wheel here, it's really smooth, which is, which is great, you know, really great. Um, but there were a lot of times I'd be shooting, you know, up here or shooting video, whatever. And I would have just, just taken this out of my bag and, you know, I start shooting, whatever. And I'd realize that my ND filter was like way up there. And and if you weren't paying attention, you know, you may be looking because I have auto ISO set up. So I would just, you know, make sure that my ISO was as low as it could go. But if you weren't paying attention, you may have just slid this all the way up or slid this in the middle because it's really easy to move this around. Um, and and at that point in time, you know, you got extra noise and extra grain and all that kind of stuff in your image, which you'd probably be like, I, I didn't want that. So I almost wish, just like a lot of lenses have a lock on them, that this had either like, I don't know, a little, a little button here that you could lock and unlock uh, the variable so that you couldn't spin it. So you could sit it up here, right? And go be like, okay, I want it all the way down here because it's good because we're indoors, et cetera, et cetera. And I could take take a little button and just kind of pull and it would lock that. And then you could slide it up or whatever and then have free, free rain again. Um, I understand kind of the fact that it doesn't have like notch points because if you are shooting video especially you may have to adjust on the fly and being able to actually have your hand up here and just slowly 
right? Just kind of slowly, you guys see it, right? Just slowly move right back like that. You can actually have that ND like really smooth, which is really nice. Um, the ND filter in itself seemed really good. One of my issues, of course, was that you sometimes in cheaper uh, ND filters, you get uh, banding that happens. And I didn't really notice that in anything. None of the photos, none of the videos seemed to have any of that banding in it. So that was really good. Um, I love the fact that it's back here. Uh, clarity of the of it was was decent. Again, um, you may be someone that's high, super high end, right? And you're like, no, it needs to be perfectly clear. So then you may want to go spend hundreds of dollars on one that you pop on the front, right? or you may want to be able to have them specific to your lens. I don't know, maybe you do. I like having it back here, nice and easy, because I know if I'm going out on a bright day and it's gonna be bright, I'm gonna be shooting outside, I can just take this and leave it on. Leave it on all the time, we're good. Um, do you need, do you need to get another adapter outside of this one? Not really with the fact that, you know, this, this kit that I got, Came with the ND filter, the variable ND filter, as well as a clear. So, you know, if you know you're going to be shooting darker or you want to be able to shoot photos as fast as possible or whatever, then just pop the clear one in there. But if you're going to be in a scenario where you need to change, right? You, oh, actually, I do have it here. <laughs> I'm like, I thought it was, there's a clear, right? So if I need to, I can just be like, okay, today I'm shooting just photos and I needed to shoot as fast as possible and I don't need any of that extra control. I just kind of come here, pop this, find out where I'm what I'm doing. I pop this out, right? Take this here, nice and simple. All right, you may want to make sure it's clean and then just pop it in the right way. Nice thing is it'll only go in the right way. There you go, this is clear and you're golden, right? You can just shoot and then when you want to switch back, you're good. Uh, I will probably, what I'm thinking I might do with this is just keep a cleaning cloth in with it all the time. So it's just in this little container. But yeah, I like it. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a great little adapter. It works good. Uh, nice thing is, is it doesn't have to really communicate with the camera to do anything. It's not like it's a speed booster or anything like that. It's just, it's just tinted glass. So the auto, the auto automatic features, all the autofocus and all that worked great. I had zero issues. It didn't feel like there was anything slowing the autofocus down. And again, I shot a full wedding and my whole holiday uh, using this and another adapter that I kind of used back and forth between the two cameras. Uh, the other nice thing about this adapter, of course, is that um, you can use it on any of the RF cameras, right? So it doesn't matter if you have an RP, an R, an R5, an R6, an R5, 5C, uh, R10, and R7. Um, if you're mounting EF glass onto it, it works. So that's kind of nice. All right, guys, I will leave links to their website where you guys can take a look at this. I'm I'm a fan. I think it's really cool and a really nice extra tool to have in your arsenal, especially if you're somebody that uh, likes to keep their shutter speed down and you'd like to switch lenses a, a lot. This is, this is going to be uh, super handy. All right, my friends, that's it. I'll put links down to Ma Makey, Mickey, Mikey, I don't know. And uh, that's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and I will see you fine folks tomorrow. Later.